Hello everybody. Um, I think we'll try and consider how websites work today before we get on to how to actually make a website. If you think about websites, if you think about websites, you'll realize that um, the difference between uh, a website from, say, a brochure uh, is a very physical one in that, um, well, basically people like to click. They click from one page to another and if you think of it, it's not really um, a linear progression, but it's more like a spider web. So if we were to draw it, we'd say, say, sorry for the wonky drawing, uh, if this is your home page, you'd then you'd then be looking to look, go towards another page. So here we'll, we'll call this page OT for other, and um, so you'd be able to go from this page to the other page. Um, but you might want to go to another page as well, so we'll call, put another page over here and we'll call that other page again. Well, there we go. But then of course websites being websites, if you want to go, if you're there at this page, you'd want to be able to get back to the home page. Likewise, you'd want to be able to get to the other page from this page you'd want likewise similarly you'd want to be able to get to the home page and to this page. This is a three page website. If we had a four page website it would start to look more complicated. We'll call this something else again. So from the home page you'd be able to go to the that page, you'd be able to go back there. Similarly, you'd want to be able to go from that one to... And as you can see, once you get more and more pages, it starts to get quite complicated and the spider web starts to become really quite... complex. Um, this process here is called navigation. So this linking from one page to the next, to be able to click from this page to that page, that page to that page, that page back to that page, etc., and so on. Um, we can we can we can do this very simply using a program. Now most programs will allow us to do this. Um, I've made this in PowerPoint. Um, I'm going to call it my little simplistic website. Now this is going to be so easy, you're not allowed to use this for your assignment. Um, this is just a PowerPoint. As you can see here on the left, I've made three uh, pages. So it's, they're going to represent the three pages in my website. Because um, I live on a farm. Uh, this is my home page. This is the farmhouse. This is a picture of my farm. The next page is a shed. Um, so say I'd want to go from the farm to the shed. I could go from the farm to the shed. This isn't really my shed, but just about. Um, and here, outside, just in the paddock. Um, we need to create links to go from one page to the next, and I'll show you how I'll show you how this happens. And those links are called hyperlinks, and they help us create the navigation of of this very very simplistic three page website. So what we want to be able to do, we want to go from this home page, uh, which is um, the farmhouse. We might want to go from here to the shed, and from there we'd want to be able to go to the paddock. The reason I haven't called these pages one, two, and three because I want to get you away from the idea of thinking that pages that websites are linear. Um, I'm not giving them numbers. I'm not giving them um, A's, B's, and C's or something like that. It's just farmhouse, shed, and paddock for this particular for this particular one. This is our first page, our home page. This one um, is the next page in this document, but we're going to hyperlink it here. I right mouse, I double click the word, now I'm right mouse clicking, and you see here this is called the hyperlink. I'll click on that, and it gives me options to link to various places, to an existing file or a web page, to a place in this document to create a new document or an email address. Um, I can, you can see that I've actually got um, a cam recorder and um, um, a program running that helped me record this, but so you wouldn't be able, you wouldn't see that. 
Um, I'm going to link this to a place in this document and I'm going to link it to this slide there. Okay. Similarly for this one, I'm going to hyperlink that word to this slide there. Okay, so this link here refers to that slide. This link here refers to that slide. I'm just saving it here. So if we were to use it as a website, you'd be able to see that if I hover my cursor over that word, it turns to the little hand, and I can click on it similarly for paddock. So if I click on shed, it goes to the next one. But I can't go home yet because I haven't clicked that one yet. I just clicked it and it's in PowerPoint mode, so it's going to the next one. So on this one, I want to hyperlink that to the home one. Uh, that one to the paddock. Hyperlink that to the paddock. Okay, similarly at the paddock, I'd want to be able to go to the home page or to the shed. Now, all being well, if we have this in the slideshow, from our home page, which is the farmhouse there, we can go to the shed. From the shed we can go back home. We can wander off into the paddock, back to the shed, and back to home. So what we've done there is made a very simple three-page website which has hyperlinks between the three separate pages using PowerPoint. Um, you can uh, do exactly the same with Microsoft Word or Excel or any of the other programs which allow you to hyperlink. Um, so that's just, just by illustration of showing how, how simple the hyperlink procedure is, um, as long as you remember that it is in fact a web that you need to create. Now for the purposes of your assignment, um, I'm going to suggest that you use other programs uh, so you don't actually have to build your hyperlinks yourself, but I just thought I'd use this one to show you um, how the process works. Thank you for listening.